Hello, great people. It's your very own Oni Mimi. It's been a while. It's like it's been like a year, but here we are back. It's been business, business, business. And today we want to talk about something very, very, very short, and it is purpose. It's very important if you want to succeed in life, in relationship, in marriage, in everything you do. You have to ask what is the purpose behind it. In your relationship, before you get into any relationship make sure you know the purpose of which you are into this such relationship relationship is it just a casual relationship just to be friends or just to walk around no, you might know, have to define your purpose as a child of god yeah we have several relationships we have friendship we have those that are in courtship we have those that are heading for marriage right. but you have to ask yourself which one when once the young man is knocking the door once he's coming you ask please which one sometimes so many things like this are not being uh, sometimes people use wisdom to ask yes sometimes yeah, you, may, you, may, you may not necessarily be vocal about it yeah. if you if you have if you are wise enough you can look at him and study him and know what he's aiming at Yes. There are some actions that people put out, you know, oh, this one came for sex. There are actions that we saw and put out, you know, oh, this one is pretending, but he, he wants sex at the end later on. If there is action people put out, you know, oh, this one is genuine, it's coming for marriage. You must know the purpose of a thing. But at the fourth one, if you don't know anyone at all, that is when you cannot ask. If it's blurry, the guy is behaving like a snake, it's blurry, then you have to ask. Then a guy too, if the lady is falling on you, you know that you have someone else you want to marry. You have that is why you explain, you define the purpose. You know, say yes. no, 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 no. We are in friendship. Please, I have someone I want to marry. And you know that the lady you want to marry her, but she's falling on someone else. Yes, you have that uh, obligation to tell her, I want to look, I'm coming for marriage, but I see you with so so person. Tell me, do you have anything in common with this? You know, when we define all these things, we have less of heartbreak and suicide in the society. Yeah, and sometimes when you know that this guy's purpose. It's not meant for me. Like you don't like his people, so what which both of you are, are in in relationship. Why not cut off? Don't stay. Continue to stay in such relationship. Just cut off and look for the one that his purpose suits yours. Now the power of cutting off is very very strong. Some persons cannot cut off because of one thing. I'm going to be wrong. I've been a, a, a guy man before I got born again. Some girls, they can't cut off from a relationship because they love the sexual relationship. Some men can't cut off from a particular girl because of some sexual intimacy they had. Oh, she, the way she did it, the way she does it, no one can do it like that. Even when you are seen that he's not heading to the right direction. Some other person is because of the money he's giving you. Some other person is because yeah. of the house he's living, his own house. There are several reasons why people can't cut off when they even see that this purpose this thing has no purpose it has no uh, positive purpose that will yield result in the future but let me tell you something the power not to cut the power to cut off is minimal compared to the disaster it will cause cause if you don't cut off so it's better you that's why you see some people they hardly say goodbye to the yesterday yes. it's better you say goodbye to the yesterday and face the future. tomorrow it's better it's better you might miss that thing you might miss that sex you might miss that money you might miss that house you might miss that comfort his car all this thing cut off because as a child of god you need to move on you need to get married you need to settle Some down people, even though they notice that the purpose of which the guy is coming for them is not right they still there's some girls they still want to go into the relationship because they feel they say they love the person is that right mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they say they love this person they love her and they don't want to hurt the person they still continue to use bless their life going to a, a, a relationship which does not give any good results and they just end up misbehaving their misusing themselves yeah you have so, to you have to have purpose in life i tell you the truth if you have purpose in life generally in this world nobody will use you before they want to use you to dump you we dump them I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. If you have mercy, a, a, a purpose, you know that this is how you have fashioned your life. Yes. You know that this is what you want your life to be. I tell you the truth. No relationship, no human being, nothing in this world will want to toy with your life. Immediately, the person will want to surprise you. You will surprise them because you have purpose. You know what your life wants to look like. Immediately, the young man will want to surprise you. Immediately, the young lady will want to surprise you. You say, ah, I know where you are heading at. Please, let's call it a quit. I know you want to say it's a quit, but let's call it a quit. Yeah. Because that is the spirit of discernment. Because it is purpose that has nurtured it. Define yourself. Let me tell you the truth. With virtue of 
my visib visibility in the social media. I've been able to chat with gay girls and boys of 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, even 13, but the teenagers more. And from my studies and the things I see, they want more of sex from the ladies yes. than a true relationship. Now, the young men these days, I don't know whether it's because of economy, they don't want, so many don't want to settle down, but they want sex. No, life cannot go like that. But I want to tell you that just like uh, uh, Daniel was uh, declared, or Daniel was declared better than all the king, all the magicians and astrologers in Nebuchadnezzar's ring because he denied himself of eating the king's meat. Deny yourself that young lady. Deny yourself that young man. If you, if you, if you watch one of my message on my evangelical page where I said that you can deny that kingsmith to because of a, a diligence, you can deny that kingsmith to become who you want to be. People's it takes that you deny yourself some things to meet the right person in life and because you want to meet the right person in life does not mean you will not deny, deny and deny and become blind to see the right person. So let's balance the stuff. And also, a little advice, not every relationship you enter into you fall for the guy like you fall because once you fall for the guy like you love the guy so much you will always want to do something to please him in it, even though he's bad i don't know if you're getting me like one there's one friend of mine that for that that is kind of is falling to this kind of victim like she she's into a relationship and the guy is asking for sex and she loves the guy so much but she don't know if she should give the guy the sex or not but she don't want to hurt the, uh, the, the guy sorry she don't want to hurt the guy so my advice is to her my advice i gave to her was that she should just remove her mind from it from the guy don't put your don't to give don't give your heart to the guy if not if you do my dear you will give in you will give in that is the main fact but the right person when the right person comes you will not you even though when you you you, you throw out your, your your desire to him like then you don't want sex before marriage you you will allow him you wait for no let, let's balance this thing because the video is about to come to an end sometimes people have purpose they tell themselves no sex before marriage and these things happen mistakenly sometimes people don't purposely want to have sex in a relationship and it happens mistakenly god is a merciful god just turn around and amend your ways the future holds better than today the future holds better than the pleasure of today the yeah. purpose you have today will push you in that greater future and i believe that if you practice this to define everything that comes your way i tell you the truth there are three things that have worked to me worked for me i have thought on diligence on my page you can check that i have thought on passion and one other thing I'm about, I was about teaching on before my lovely wife said, let's talk about purpose on our relationship today. It is purpose I wanted to teach about next. Purpose has helped me a lot that nobody can hold me to a trap because yeah. I know the purpose of my life. Before you hold me to a trap, I will hold you down to a trap too. That is purpose. We leave the video here. God bless you. All right. Thank we love you so you. much. See you next time. Bye.